that today we are working yet again on the giant enclosure that's in the back of my grove. What you guys have not seen is all the platforms that we built in here. So the hinges are welded on the first door and now we are getting it up and ready. So we're gonna, oh no, oh, okay. Oh. And we're gonna drill it in right now in three, two, one. What is up everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope all of you guys are having just an absolutely amazing day and for those of you that are new here, well I'm Jacob and welcome to my jungle. Now if you guys saw the title and thumbnail, you will know for today's video that today we are working yet again on the giant enclosure that's in the back of my grove. If you watch this video here, that was part one and today is part two and then we're gonna be doing a part three which is actually finishing the enclosure off and moving the animal in. But today we're gonna to be working on all of the platforms and perching. As you guys know, when we build these enclosures, we do all of these different platforms for the animals to be able to exercise, to be able to jump, to get away from the rain. So that is exactly what we're doing today. Now, not only are we gonna be working on all of the platforms in the new enclosure, but I have some welders that are actually on the way right now. They're gonna be custom welding doors right here on the spot. So everything we're doing here is completely custom made. You guys have seen all the enclosures we've built. We've got the one off the house which let me show you guys this one. We've got Theo Jr. It is bright and early this morning. And look at this. So we landscaped this entire area out. So we got Monstera. We've got these burly marks, which is like a really nice ground cover plant. And Theo is absolutely loving it. You love it. I am coming. We're, your breakfast is coming and on the way. Theo, you love your enclosure. You love it. Hi, monkey. Hello, sweet monkey. Yes, yes, yes. Give me pets. Look. Theo wants to give me a pet. She is a nice, kind, and sweet little baby. And while we wait for the welders to get here, we've got to check up on some of the animals that call my jungle home. And the first group we're going to check up on is my redfoot tortoises right here. Now, the reason why we're checking up on the redfoots is because last night I saw two different females laying nests right here. They covered their nests. We more than likely are going to have some eggs, but then right over here in the front, just now I noticed one of my largest females was actually digging a nest to lay her eggs. So let's go check it out right now. We don't want to disturb her, but she's right there digging a nest. You can see, you know she's digging a nest because she's moving back and forth. Let me just show you guys. Let's just actually go in. All right, that's it. That's all I want to show you guys. Maybe we can get an angle from here. Maybe, potentially, I'm not sure. We're going to have to just move this. And let's look. Oh, yep, definitely nesting. We're going to let that pretty girl keep on nesting, and now it's time to search for our eggs. So right now, it's the kickoff to egg laying season. So the big females are going to start laying their eggs. We've even got one of our resident females hanging out right here. This is one of the smaller, more like medium sized females. So this is one that I've had for quite a while now. So this is what we're looking for here. So we got our eggs and we've got to get our container to actually collect our eggs. And oh my goodness, look at what we have here under a leaf, look. Look at this, look. A little baby red foot tortoise. This is actually exactly what I was hoping to find today. A natural ground hatch baby. So when you're standing up here from above, it actually actually blends in extremely well, especially with that leaf debris. But this guy, he is on a mission to get away from me. Hey buddy, come here, where, where did you come from? This little baby right here was one that definitely hatched naturally. If you look at all this white stuff on the bottom of a shell, that's actually fungus from being in this really high humidity area. Most baby tortoises that naturally ground hatch will develop this fungus pretty quickly. But look at this little guy, he's so cute. All right, little child, it is time to go with your tortoise friend. So you're gonna go right here, right now. And we're going to prop this open. And look, you're going to go with your friends. So right now I'm just putting him in one of the indoor little habitats right here. Well, not indoor, but outdoor with a lid. So look at that. And this guy is gonna feel right at home with his other tortoise friends. So we're already off to a great start today. We already found one baby tortoise, which always makes the day that much better. And now it's time to finally dig up these eggs. Guys, what we don't know is how many eggs we're gonna have. We could have up to about eight to 10 eggs, but I'm thinking right now we're gonna have four in one clutch and then three in another, but there's only one way to find out and that is to start digging. So we're gonna move this rock out of the way. Something smells really disgusting over here right now. It smells like a dead rat or something, but we're gonna start this, because of the rain last night, this stuff literally turned to just like straight up mud. You can see this is just like some of the thickest, densest dirt that I've ever seen. Look at that guys, look at that. We have our first egg of the day, but it's really hard to get it out. But this is exactly what we're looking for. If there's one thing we wanna do, it's be extremely gentle with this egg. We don't wanna move it from the position that it was laid in. So we got one perfect, beautiful red foot tortoise egg right here. So we're just gonna take it and place it right here. But honestly, 
this is weird. This might be the only egg that this tortoise laid. So I started digging up the other nest and it looks like we hit the jackpot. It looks like we've got at least, at least three eggs. We got one, two, three. So let's pull these eggs out. Look at that. This is exactly what we want. This is so cool. So wait up. Oh, we want again, we want to grab it nice and gently, just like that. We've got one beautiful red foot egg and we've got one more egg. Oh, there's another one. There's a fourth. This is awesome, look at that. Okay, this is so cool. We have one, two, three, four, five, six perfect red foot eggs. So I just got a call from the welders and they're gonna be here in about 30 minutes. So we've gotta get moving with these tortoise eggs. So we came inside and we're gonna be putting them in the incubators. Now everyone always asks me, Jacob, why the heck do you put these eggs inside of this stuff? Why don't you just leave them in the ground? Because that's what would happen naturally. That's what happens in the wild. Well, the reason is if we were to leave these eggs to incubate naturally in the ground, more than likely, almost all of them are not going to make it. Maybe you'll have one or two hatch, but when you put them inside of these incubators, we keep it at around 85 degrees and we always have a constant humidity in there. Out in the wild, the temperatures are going to fluctuate. It's going to get hot, it's going to get cold, and that can cause animals to actually die off, including rain. Rain can actually drown the eggs. So by putting these eggs inside of this perlite, that is how we're going to have the perfect hatch rate, or at least hope to have the perfect hatch rate as long as these are fertile. So again, you want to just pick them up nice and gently, and I just bury them just like that, right in the perlite. So we actually put the date on it. So we got September 24th on these guys. We got the date on these. Now we just gotta put the lid on and put them inside. One minute, 37 seconds later. And just nice and gently, just slide them right here on this shelf, just like that. So we got them nice and in here. And in the meantime, I wanna check on our rhino iguana eggs. These eggs should be hatching any day now. So it's gonna be really exciting to see these when they finally hatch, but I wanna make sure that we, everyone's looking nice and healthy. So we're gonna lift our lid up just like this. We're gonna look through our eggs. Look at that, this is amazing. Oh, look at that, they're gonna start hatching soon. So if you look right here, when these eggs are normally about to start hatching, they actually start denting. So these are all beautiful rhino iguana eggs. So this one is still like fully pressurized. So you can see that it's nice and plump, whereas this one has got those dents. So when it starts denting, that's when you know they're gonna start to hatch. And we've got a whole bunch of them in here. And by keeping this moss on top, you keep the eggs a little extra humid, which keeps them nice and pressurized. And with these eggs, we want to be really gentle, nice and easy since they're just about to hatch. All right, guys, we are in the back avocado grove and we are working on the new enclosure. I told you guys we were going to be doing a part one, two, three, however many parts it takes to complete this masterpiece. Now, since the last time you guys saw this, there's been a serious amount of progress. And today we're actually welding the doors on. But what you guys have not seen is all the platforms that we built in here. Now, we're gonna be showing some of these platforms. We have not finished those yet. We're gonna be finishing those today, but look at all these decks. Let's go over here, let's go inside. We got the welders setting up right now to get ready to weld our custom doors, but this enclosure is looking incredible. And none of this would be possible without all of your guys' support. So by you guys here watching my videos and supporting me and my animals, well guys, you are making these projects happen. You guys are making a difference in these animals' lives. And with all your guys' support, we're able to build some of the best enclosures out there. So right now we have our frame for our doors in. So this is all nice two inch galvanized steel piping. So that's gonna be the framing for our steel doors. These are gonna be wooden doors. But when you come inside, you're gonna come through this door and you're inside the enclosure. So there's 80 square foot decks right here. You can see we got one platform, two platforms, and then another one. That's gotta be at almost 12 feet high. Let me just get up here to show you guys because this is, this is so exciting. We're gonna hop up here and then I'm gonna roll up right on it, roll up just like that. And we made it, we're up. And look at it from this perspective, look how cool this is. So this is even taller, you can see we're literally almost at the top. Using all pressure treated lumber, we got these nice big bolts to go inside. So basically we're gonna have a guardrail here, so if I'm up here I don't fall over. And we're gonna have telephone poles that are running from platform to platform. So this cat's gonna be able to literally jump up and like run across platforms. So obviously we have Cheech and Chong's habitat here, but we're actually gonna be dividing the two with a visual barrier. We're actually gonna be putting bamboo all along here. And I'm thinking we're also gonna be putting some plants in here, although we got the grass growing in really nice and it looks great. So the welders have got here and we are getting ready to weld the doors on. This is like kind of like the final steps to getting this complete. We still gotta build a den box and we're not done in here. Like I said, we gotta finish these platforms up here. We got all the wood pre-cut and we kind of did the beams wrong, so we have to fix those. But overall, it's pretty much there. Right over here, the welders have arrived. 
We're getting ready to get the hinges on. So the hinges are welded on the first door and now we are getting it up and ready and in place. And we are starting here on the bottom hinge. So door number one is complete and ready to go and they are working on door number two right over there. And I just wanna show you this door now that it's up and complete. We've got three hinges on it. Watch this, we're just gonna close it. And look, it just slides, locks perfectly and this this is professional as it gets. It looks so sick. Look, we did all of these like really nice like corner miter cuts. This door is so strong. So look at that. We got all of our hinges. We got some nice welds going on. It looks sick. And now that door number one is complete and ready to go. Well, it's time to keep building this enclosure. We got to get these deck boards on and we've got to hang another door. So before we get started on the rest of the decks and the platforms, I'm gonna show you the doors that the welders just left and it honestly came out better than I possibly could have imagined. So right now we gotta go through the lockout and out this way and look at this. We have some legit doors. These are gonna be wood. We have our main doors right here. Look at this, this stuff is legit. I mean, this is like the most heavy duty doors you could possibly make and look, they just swing so nicely. Look at that, that's what you wanna see in a nice door. You want it to swing nicely. So we got our incredible door right here. The only thing that the guys did wrong was that this is where the lock is. So this was supposed to be here. So we're just gonna have to drill a hole. We have our second door right here. So this is gonna be the main entry area here. We got the second door and we're just gonna push in and then boom, you're in this beautiful exhibit. So now that the doors are done, it's time to get started on the upper decking. So basically to get this done efficiently and fast, we gotta lay all these boards across. We have everything already pre-cut on the top and the bottom. So we gotta just take these boards now we did the beam the wrong way. We weren't thinking there was supposed to be a beam in the middle so all the boards could be secured in the center. But honestly, these boards are only about two and a half to three feet long, so they should be just fine. So we're gonna, oh no, oh, okay, oh, that's nice. And that is exactly why I shouldn't be building and filming. And we're gonna drill it in right now in three, two, one. And we gotta do it another couple hundred times. So we finished the lower deck right now and it is nice and secure. You can actually stand up on it, you can jump on it. So now that the lower deck is complete, I've actually gotta go way up high. We gotta get on top of the enclosure so we can set up a time lapse and finish this upper deck. So to get up to the top, we literally have to open the biggest ladder you've ever seen. I think this is like an 18 foot ladder, 15 foot, something like that. So we're getting the ladder nice and lined up. We got Cliff and my dad helping out today. You got it? Yeah. You got it? All right, guys. I don't like heights. Is it, is it is it ready? We gotta go all the way up there. All right, can I go? Yeah. Is go it? Ahead. Oh my, guys, look, this is no, definite. This is look at it. This is kind of scary. All right, we're gonna go head on up. I don't like. Well, okay, I definitely. All right, we good? Yeah, we're good. We're good, guys. I definitely don't like heights, and we gotta go all the way up. It's shaking, and it might collapse. And we're making it on top. We're almost here. All right, wait, wait for it, and oh, up. I made it. We made it up here, look at this. Once you're up here and see it all, it's so sick, and you can see like the whole property over here, so let's walk around and try to not fall off. So we're on our way down. I'm glad to be coming down, and I've decided not to time lapse this. You guys have already seen the lower deck. I'm not gonna bore you with the upper deck, so. We gotta get on down and keep moving. One hour later. And our double deck is complete and ready to go. I mean, look at this. As far as decks go, it doesn't get any better looking than this. And I think our Clouded Leopard is going to absolutely love it. Everything is secured um, in about a million places. So this deck right here, it's not going anywhere. But overall, it came out so cool. So that, my friends, is going to end part two of the enclosure build. I hope all of you guys did enjoy watching today's video, both part one and part two. 
but if you haven't seen part one, we'll definitely watch part one after this, and there is definitely going to be a part three. Part three, we're gonna be finishing off this enclosure. In part three, we're gonna be building the den box, adding some poles, and moving our new resident, Clouded Leopard, into his new big and beautiful home. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below, what was your guys' favorite part of today's video, and if you guys are not yet subscribed yet to me, you wanna see more of these crazy enclosure builds, and you wanna see the rest of my animal family, well guys, all you have to do is subscribe below and come along on the next adventure.